Super Typhoon Haiyan is making its way through the Philippines, displacing millions of people and leaving disastrous damage in its wake. There have been some fatalities reported, three. Uh, however, these appear to be storm-related effects and outside of the main swath of the storm. Power is out in most of the 36 areas. It hit the Philippines, uh, an area known as Guyan. Uh, it is packing still winds of 195 miles an hour, gusts to 235 miles an hour. When you have winds this strong, anemometers that record winds at the surface pretty much break from that kind of wind. High end is the equivalent of a Category 5 hurricane. In addition to the powerful wind, the threats from the super typhoon include heavy rain, flooding, and mudslides. The country's president has warned of six meter high waves in many coastal areas areas and says the country has Air Force planes, helicopters and ships on standby. He went on to say no storm can bring a united Filipino people to its knees. The Philippines are no stranger to strong storms. Experts say the island nation experiences about 20 cyclones a year. Super Typhoon Haiyan is projected to continue through the area, cross the ocean and hit Vietnam as a Category 3 hurricane. It's expected to miss the Philippines' capital, Manila. For Newsy, I'm Candace Aviles.